the Gap Las Vegas edition. So we're at Impact Basketball in Vegas. We've brought a group over from the UK and they're working, currently working with uh, the Impact coaches. It's a really cool environment in there because we've got our guys who are training with the staff here at Impact, but then we've also, um, we also get to witness a lot of their NBA clients uh, work out in the off season. So already today we've had Carl Lowry in the gym, uh, Zaire Williams, Blake Wesley, Zach Collins. Um, that's awesome. Like you just don't get to see that every day. So uh, let's have a look at the work that they're doing right now. After you. What do you think of day one? Morning was tiring. Yeah? Because I haven't, I took like a week break, because I had a camp two weeks ago. Okay. But as the day went on, it was good. Did you like have too many in and out burgers or? Nah, nah. <laughs> I, I was actually quite sensible. Okay, good. I was so Yeah. But all I think about Britain is posh white grandmas. White grandmas? White grandmas. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. That's wait. Right. All I see, when I see a big of Britain, I see people in like the Buckingham Palace and all that. Okay. White old grandmas. <laughs> that's such a serious. Or road mover puppet jackets. Oh yeah, that's, that's, that's probably more accurate than the white old grandmas. Yeah, end of day two, phenomenal day. And like, really proud of the guys we brought out because it's not easy to participate and compete at camp. But they're, they're working hard, they're really working hard. And even though they're tired, it's just great to see their resilience. But as I, yeah, as I sit here and kind of reflect on the two days, it's just great that we're able to bring out some UK players and expose them to the coaching at Impact.
in the phenomenal environment they've got in, here in Vegas. And, but the added value, the added value is that they get to watch and learn from a number of NBA clients who are working out literally on the court next to them. And no, you know, no video on, on social media, on YouTube, Instagram, whatever, no, no, no highlight mix or workout video can replicate what it's like to, to see that firsthand, to be that close to the sun and to see these professionals grind, you know, and, and, and see them fail and not give up, to see them sweat, to see them out of breath, to see the level of commitment and passion that they put into their craft. That added value to this trip, you just can't put a price tag on that. It's invaluable. So yeah, feeling, feeling really good that, you know, the guys are obviously taking in as much as they can as far as their own development. And then just witnessing some of the greatest players do what they do on court. I mean, I'll give you an example, right? Blake Wesley for the San Antonio Spurs. He's going into year two in the league. We get to the gym just before 9 a.m. and he's already lifting. Fine. Then he does a workout. So all in, we're probably looking at about a two hour, two hour window, maybe two hour 15. And then he rests. And then around midday, a lot of the other pro guys come together and they, they play pick up for about an hour, 75 minutes. Okay, then he rests again. And then he does another shooting workout to finish the day. So he was in the gym from like 8.30 till, I think he finished at 3.30. And you just can't really fathom that level of commitment and desire, that investment by seeing them, you know, seeing a video of them working out or even actually seeing their performance in game. There's a reason why they're in that league and that's because of the level of commitment that they have towards themselves and self-development, it's phenomenal. So yeah, it's just so good to be around around that level of professionalism. Look at Bobby. So yeah, Bobby. sitting by the pool, reflecting on the day, it's been phenomenal. So bring on day three.
How has this experience been different than what you've been exposed to back home? There's a lot of NBA players in the building, right? What are the things that you guys notice about NBA players that are different to guys that you play with? What are the differences that you notice? So the difference between those levels is you get better and better and better. It's not necessarily your skills or your size or your talent. There's some of that, but it's the details, it's the routine, it's what's going on off the floor, right? Because it's really easy to get motivated to work out on the floor. It's easy to get motivated when you're in the weights room because that's what we live and breathe, right? So if I'm working out three, four hours in the day, how many hours we got in a day? 24, right? So if I'm working out for four hours, how many hours are left in a day? There's 20 hours left in a day, right? So with those 20 hours, I could be either helping myself towards my goals of playing in college, getting a scholarship, playing pro, or I could be hurting them, right? So what I do here is I'm the director of performance, nutrition, and sports science, and I talk about the other 20 hours in the day. So it's your nutrition, it's your hydration, it's your sleep. And within that 20 hours, we also got to think about time spent with loved ones. We got to think about schoolwork. We got to think about preparing for exams because when it comes to the next level, especially in college, you can't just be a hooper and not have good grades, right? It's before, you got to start thinking about fueling your bodies as you would fuel anything else. If I need to drive my car for a long distance, I've got to put gas in it, right? I've got to put petrol in the car to make sure it goes a long distance. If I'm driving from London to Nottingham, for example, I'm going to need a full tank, right? And if I'm trying to get home, I'm going to have to do what when I'm in Nottingham to get back? I've got to fill it back up, right? So they did a study in basketball players. And if you're 2% dehydrated, so that's 2% of your body weight that you've lost in water, your shooting percentage can, can be reduced by 10%. So anybody who follows basketball, a change in 10% of your shooting percentage is pretty significant, right? Impact on three, one, two, three, impact. Good job, boys. Yep. Appreciate you, man. Thanks, sure. Yep. Cool.